Hello everyone, this is Miss Mary and welcome to our week of Harry Potter birthday celebrations. Today we're going to celebrate by making a snitch catapult, a STEM project. What is a catapult? A catapult is a kind of lever, works like that, and it uses a transfer of energy. It, it transfers energy of motion into potential energy, transfers that into an object which it launches into the air. Okay, in the Middle Ages they used catapults to launch big boulders, to break through walls during battles. We're not going to do that. We're going to use it to launch our snitch. Do you remember in the Harry Potter books when Harry and his friends played Quidditch, the snitch could fly? Well, in our world, the snitch can't fly on its own, so we're going to give it some help with our catapult. Here's the materials we'll need for our project. Glue or tape. A scissors. Does not need to be a big scissors. It can be a small scissors. A pencil. We're gonna need some rubber bands, and I, several rubber bands. I found some yellow and red ones around my house, and since Gryffindor's colors are gold and red, I thought I'd use those today. Uh, the other thing we're going to need, we're gonna need craft sticks. I have nine craft sticks here. These are the large ones, but if you don't have those, popsicle sticks work just as well. So if you have a, been eating popsicles during this hot summer, and you save some sticks, and then you can use them for this project. Okay. If you want to, Grab some crayons or markers, and you can color these craft sticks. Because craft sticks are made out of balsa wood, they are very porous. They take on liquid really easily. So you can use crayons on them, but if you use markers, it's very quick and easy to use the markers. They, it shows up really well, and um, it dries in just a minute. And you can, uh, here's a red one. You could make it red and gold for Harry's uh, house for Gryffindor. Use another house colors. You could draw designs on them. So however you want to decorate it, I'm sure they'll look really nice. The last thing we are going to need, or one of the last things, is a snitch. So what I used for my snitch was a ping pong ball. And ping pong balls, just like craft sticks, they have a very matte surface. They take color really well. I had a metallic gold Sharpie. And so I just used the Sharpie on the whole surface and colored it gold. You could use any other color that you like. You could use crayon probably on a ping pong ball too. If you don't have a ping pong ball, any, a small rubber ball will work well too. And those little pink rubber balls take color well too. So if you wanted to be super fancy, you could take your liquid glue and a brush, brush it on the surface of the ball, and then roll the ball in glitter if you have glitter. And that will look very glittery and shiny and because you know the snitch is gold and it shines. Um, but you will have to wait till it dries before you can use it. Okay. We also need a little perch for the snitch. We need some place to sit it in order to launch it. So this is just the top of a milk jug. Okay. Uh, apple cider uses them too. Just a little screw on top. It's about an inch and a half across. And just wash it out and dry it, and that's going to be our perch. Uh, the other thing we need is... Remember, the snitch has feathers, has wings. So if you have feathers at your house, you could use glue or tape and tape some on each side to make wings. I didn't have any feathers, so I just used my pencil and some white paper, and I drew what I thought my, a, a wing might look like. It looks sort of like a wing. Uh, so you can make a wing in whatever shape you want, and then we'll cut it out. So in order to cut out two at the same time, I folded my paper over. That way when I cut, I'll just cut through two layers. You don't have to do that. You can cut them separately if you want, okay? So I'm gonna cut that out right now. And you can decorate the wings however you'd like to. Crayons or markers. Uh, you could even put a little glitter on the wings by brushing just a tiny bit of glue and then just sprinkling the glitter very lightly because if you put too much glitter on, it will make the wing really heavy and that might make it harder for the snitch to fly. Okay, here's my two wings. So I'm going to put those together and you can use glue or you can use tape. Okay, I've got some two-sided tape but you don't need two-sided tape. You can just use any kind of tape and just, just roll it or you don't even have to roll it. You can just use, use, use it flat. Okay, so I'm gonna put my snitch on my, my, my snitch and my wings together. Okay. Right here. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna put a little more tape on there to make sure it stays. Okay, there's my snitch with his wings. Okay, I'm gonna put him aside while we make our catapult. And for our catapult, we're gonna take our craft sticks. We're taking seven out of our nine craft sticks. Okay. Put them, stack them up nice and tight. I'm gonna take one of my rubber bands and just wrap it around the top a bunch of times so it's really tight. Okay. Then I'm gonna kind of shove all those rubber bands together like that. Okay. Make sure my sticks are even. Then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other end. Wrap around a rubber band nice and tight, a bunch of times. Okay, and then smush them all together. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got our seven craft sticks all together. Now, we're gonna take one of our remaining craft sticks and put it, we're kind of centering it side to side, but not, not really centering it up and down. It's gonna be closer to the top. Okay, and we're gonna use another rubber band. I'm using a slightly bigger one, but you probably wouldn't have to. You just, um, if, depending on the size of rubber band you use. I'm gonna wrap it. This time it's gonna go diagonally across like this. Okay. And to do this, I kind of like to think of this as a little person with a head, two arms, and his legs are both together down here. So I wrap this down over one of his shoulders I twist it, I bring it down over his other shoulder, then I pull it up over his legs. Okay, so now I've got kind of an X here. I'm gonna twist it in back of his head, bring it down, twist it again, and bring it over his arm. Okay, so what we've got here is a shape that looks kind of like this. Okay, it doesn't look too neat, let me. Okay, so we've got X with a line here and a line here, and that holds us on pretty tightly. Okay. Now I have one craft stick left. What I'm gonna do with that one is put it on the bottom of this. Okay, and I'm gonna use a rubber band to connect it to the top one. And again, I'm just gonna wrap this around a bunch of times get it as tight as I can, and scrunch those rubber bands together. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I've got my big pile of sticks. I've got another stick attached to the top of them, and then I attached a stick on the bottom just to that top stick right here, okay? All right, now the only thing I'm lacking is my little seat for my snitch. I'm gonna put that right here. Okay. You can use glue. Glue's gonna take a few minutes to dry. So I'm gonna use tape, so I don't need to wait for it to dry. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it right on the end of my top piece of wood. Okay. All right, so here it is. Let's see if it will work to launch our snitch. Okay. Here's our snitch. Okay. Oh, when you, you know what? When you use this, really it will work the best if it's on a flat surface. So you should use it on a tabletop or on the, on the floor. Outside is a good place to use it because you also should leave some open area in front of it. If you use a ping pong ball, that's not gonna be very um, hard or heavy. If you use a rubber ball and it's lightweight, that won't be very hard and heavy, but don't use a, anything really, really heavy or hard because you don't want to launch that at someone. And wherever you're launching it, make sure you have some open space in front of you so it has room to go without hitting anybody or anything. Okay, so ideally this should be on a flat surface when you use it. I'm gonna hold it up because I want you to um, be able to see it the way I have my camera set up. So let's see if we can get our snitch on here. Okay, there's our snitch, All right? And now I'm gonna pull down my catapult. I'm gonna hold it for a second. I'm gonna let go. Okay, my snitch did fly. 
Okay, um, and why did it fly? Because it takes my arm some effort. I have to expend some energy to pull this down. That energy whoop, gets transferred into my catapult, into this bent piece of craft stick here, this bent piece of wood. When I release the craft stick, that energy is transferred. It's gone from me to the craft stick. It's gonna go from the craft stick to the ball and give it the energy it needs to go through the air, okay? Uh, there's lots of ways you can do experiments with this. What happens if you use a heavier ball? If you use a heavy, make a heavier snitch? What happens if you use a lighter snitch? What if you use a cotton ball instead of a snitch? What happens if you don't pull it down quite as far? What happens if you pull it down all the way? What happens if you move this stack of craft sticks further to the front or further to the back? Or what if you use fewer craft sticks and there's not as big a space in between here? What does that do to how far the ball will fly, the snitch will fly? So there's lots of variations you can do on this. Lots of it, if you have a data sheet and you wanna keep track of different trials of how this works when you change the variables, that I think that would be a fun project and you can do it with your friends, each make one, see who's goes farther. Uh, I think there's a lot you can do with this and it's a way that we um, muggles can launch our snitches without having them fly on their own. So thanks very much for coming. I had fun with our uh, snitch catapult. I hope you did too, and we'll see you next time.